Hello and welcome to another Game Dev Diary. Um, today we're taking a look at something a little bit different. Uh, this is a prototype for a card game that I'm working on and it's it's intended to be a game within the main game. So this will live in that other game um, that I have been showing you. Um, so you go out into the world, you collect loot. Uh, a lot of times that loot is going to be related to you know helping you with your survival or improving your combat abilities. But I also wanted to have a lot of loot in the game that's you know, non-combat loot that isn't directly useful. Stuff like decorations for your home uh, or, or these cards um, that you can you know build uh, decks with and then go into town and then play cards with the NPCs and trade cards and all that kind of thing. Um, so I wanted to show it to you today. Next time we'll probably be uh, back to looking at the main game again. But I was just kind of in the mood for something different, so I figured I'd take, uh, you know, a couple weeks and prototype this a little bit. Um, so let's look at uh, some of the mechanics. So this game is influenced by Hearthstone, Magic: The Gathering, and Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, so I, I wanted positioning to play more of a role than in the traditional card games, but I didn't want there to be like trying to control high ground or kiting or anything like that. Um, so you can see this warrior here, he has one foot in this what I call the defender line. It's this very front line that's a little lighter than the rest. And when you're touching that defender line, um, you get this shield icon. And it's sort of like the taunt from Hearthstone, all except a little bit different. Um, you can see if I try to attack with my druid, I, I'm not able to attack anywhere I want. I have to attack this warrior because the warrior's defending and he's right in front of me. So if I attack him, he takes damage. Now the archer's turn comes up, but since the ar since that warrior is not in front of the archer, the archer can attack wherever uh, he wants. So I can continue to attack the warrior, or I can attack this other archer. Um, so you only have to attack defenders if they're right in front of you. And you can either move or attack each turn. So I don't have any of the abilities in the game yet. Um, Eventually, I want a big part of the game to be you summoning creatures. You have a, a few heroes on the board at a time, um, but they're constantly summoning more creatures uh, using uh, an individual mana pool per each hero that you have. Um, and so I might have that next time I sh do a card game video, but like I said, we'll probably be going back to the other game next time um, for the next video. Um, so what are the real goals for this were to have something that's you know faster paced than something like Final Fantasy Tactics, um, but less of a meat grinder than Hearthstone, uh, and more emphasis on customizing your characters, and you you won't be drawing cards through. I don't like the 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 randomness in that. Um, so I guess this is going to be a short little video. Oh, if you. Let's say if two, let me see if I can find a way to show you this. Okay, so if uh, if your attack vector overlaps two enemies or more, and those enemies are, you know, neither one's in front of the other one, it'll actually hit both of them at the same time. So that way, uh, you know, let's say you're, there's a big dragon or something you're fighting, you can actually have several defenders all absorbing the blow, um, that the dragon would hit, so so one unit wouldn't get taken out so quick. So a big theme in this is uh, how to uh, focus fire your enemies while mitigating focus fire uh, on your own units. Um, and so I guess that's about all I have to show today. Just wanted to give you a quick update on what I was working on. Um, like I said, we'll probably be looking at the other video or the other part of the game again next time. Um, uh, thanks for watching.